channel today I am doing a video that I don't know why I hadn't done earlier it's a video about Casper test a test that we're all supposed to do before getting into vet school it's actually a big part of the admissions and I want to talk about it I'm actually so excited I'm gonna give y'all my tricks for those who don't know I'm a second year vet student who is currently studying at Université de Montréal in Canada, in Quebec. I remember my Casper test as if it was yesterday. Let's not hide it, this Casper test literally defined the rest of my life. Um, like, I'm actually really serious. In my time, it was 40% of my final grade versus 60% that was my R score. And that is the reason why I took it so seriously. I just wanna mention quickly, briefly, what the R score is. The R score usually wants to compare your grade to the rest of the group. From what I know, it's basically a huge fraction. And on top of the fraction, we have the strength of the group based on the average of the averages of the people in the class you are in. The higher it is, the better your R score will be. And then underneath the fraction, we have the standard deviation because the higher it is, the less your our score will be and finally we have your average the better your average the better your R score will be I do actually believe in the Casper test and I will explain eventually why being a doctor is more than just grades you need to have certain qualities to deal with difficult situations difficult situations will require us to be empathetic non-judgmental and understanding that is why professional schools want to know who you are it was the, the perfect moments for me to show who i am and that's why i want to give you guys tricks on how to do so how to optimize your time to show who you truly are and i think that that is key to mastering the casper test so without any further ado let's get into it so first of all what is the casper test i actually went on and searched casper test so Casper is an assessment tool that is rapidly gaining popularity across the world, just for you guys to know. So Casper is a situational judgment test that presents test takers with a series of realistic, hypothetical scenarios and asks them to type out what they would do if they were in that particular situation. It's about 90 minutes and 12 different scenarios. At the end, they always like turn the camera towards you after explaining the situation and they ask you, um, what would you do? You don't really tell the person what to do, but you give your advices. And that's kind of what a professional in medicine or vet school usually does. Another key point about the Casper test is that it's only five minutes. So you have three questions regarding the same situation. So if you just do a quick math, let me just do it. It's five times 60 divided by three. So it comes up to 100 seconds per sub question. What you might not know is that grammar and spelling do not count as long as you give a comprehensive and holistic answer. Okay, so now let's get into it. How to answer a question. Here are my strategies. So first of all, the main advice that I give to everyone who asks me about the Casper test always show both sides of the situation. What I mean by showing both sides, try answering by saying, if I choose this, well, these are the outcomes. And if I choose this, then this, this, this will happen. And most importantly, take position. After you had time to answer it, say that I would suggest this because you want to show that you are decisive. At the end of the day, if you want to be a doctor, you need that skill. Another advice that I can give you is while you're watching the video, in your head, try answering these questions. Who, where, when, and why. Another main important thing that you need to remember while doing the Casper test is to not let your beliefs and values affect the way you answer. Always try to be objective. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Another thing that many people uh, might do as a mistake is to answer as if you knew all the facts because generally in those situations you don't know all the facts and all the information about the situation you can actually 
uh, mention it like I don't know what happened exactly you can in your answer you can include what's missing and say that I do not have this information it's gonna show that you are you have a critical thinking and you think outside the box brainstorm qualities of a doctor go ahead type down the profession that you're interested in look at the qualities because that's what they are looking for try inserting those qualities whenever you can and try proving why you got that quality by once again brainstorming some main events in your life this actually makes a link to my next advice main events in your life that forged you you'll be more naturally able to insert it in questions that aren't so obvious to insert it into and that's what honestly got me here because i remember that i inserted so many links with vet school such as the slam poetry that i did in high school the slam poetry that enabled me to show some sides of me such as leadership activism brainstorm key questions like key types of questions that would probably show up in the Haspi test because we can technically kind of have a sense of the type of questions that will come up thanks to all what's available online. You can find questions available on the Casper website. There are also YouTube preparation questions that are even for me interview in med school. Key questions that have a lot of chance to come up in the Casper test. I actually put the links down below for what's available online. One main point is conflict of interest. So try to think of moments where you were facing conflicts of interest and just conflicts in general. Conflict of interest is when you are in a situation where you need to take position but you are not able to be objective in, in what you choose because of the fact that you, you know someone, let's say, uh, personally and that might influence the way you will answer brainstorm uh, events in your life that you were able to show leadership confidentiality because that's a main 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 point in uh, vet school as well as in medicine now as for typing fast because that's really important what i personally did is that there is a website that's actually called 105fingers.com i'll actually put the link down below you need to type as many words as fast as you can and I honestly saw it as a game and at the end it's gonna give you the your speed, the number of words per minute. And yeah, try just beating your own high score as much as you can. How do we actually prepare for the Casper test? Start preparing with situations that you've never dealt with before. Also you'll kind of memorize an answer and that's not the best. If you fake it, they will be able to identify if that's not truly who you are because you're probably maybe incoherent in your answers. They are questions available online, even on YouTube. In my time, I had literally no one to look up to. My main advice would be to practice with someone else who will be able to correct you if anything because I personally, when I started, didn't really have a mindset on how to answer questions. I had practiced about like one hour per uh, per day with my mom. She's actually a nurse, uh, so she was honestly the perfect person who could help me because she really knew how to deal with certain situations that are more difficult than others. You can also practice in small groups. So choose a friend group that you guys can exchange on each situation. Seeing the perspectives of everyone is very, very, very good. As we all have different perspectives of a situation. Some people are more business-minded, whereas other people are more compassionate. Let me just give you a quick example. Realizes that they use expired food. What would you do in that situation? I personally would have answered by saying that I apologize and mentioned it to the clients who were there because my argument would have been that by telling the truth, you will build that confidence that the clients will have in you. Whereas business-minded people will think, like if I tell it to the clients, then it might affect our business because it'll damage our image. But I'm leaning more towards the compassionate perspective because at the end of the day, that's kind of what I wanna do. It requires me to be really compassionate. The more you practice, I'm kind of going against the rumor that no, you guys shouldn't practice for the Casper test. Actually, I had practiced for so many hours and that helped me be more fluid in my answers and it came out more naturally. Before ending this quick video on my tips 
on how to master the Casper test, I just wanted to mention a fun fact. When I arrived in vet school, literally everyone looked like me. Uh, not physically, but personality-wise, everyone was perfectionist like me, uh, so it was kind of frightening. The Casper test really is able to select people based on those questions. To end this video, I wanted to give you guys a perfect example of why the Casper test is important. So this week we had a in-class role-playing game with teachers that are vets, and they were playing the client's role, and we were playing the vet. Hey. Demain, je vais être évaluée sur comment faire une consultation. J'ai un genre de jeu de rôle comme un peu au Casper, puis même aux entrevues de maître. So we had to lead the consultation, ask all the questions uh, as a doctor would do when you go to the hospital and you're sick to find the diagnosis. On est censé avoir la description de l'animal ainsi que la raison de consultation avant d'entrer dans la salle et de rencontrer le client. And it was actually the first time I said Dr. Chifarao, I was so not sure if I had to... On ne sait pas si on est censé dire docteur, se présenter en tant que docteur, je vais faire un docteur Valier. Où est-ce qu'on est, qu est euh, censé dire qu'on est étudiant dans un métier vétérinaire, donc on va seulement pouvoir savoir. De même, mais moi, j'ai vraiment envie de dire docteur. Je vais faire un parce que ça va monter ma confiance. Yes, it's a role playing game, but that's not my title. Teacher mentioned that it was okay. I really did well. They said that I had a good base of confidence. Oh Yo. my god, guys! Okay. Ça a bien été. Ouais, c'est vrai. On a, les profs ont dit qu'on avait tous les deux vraiment bien fait ça et qu'on était confiantes. Les profs étaient full fun. Ouais, on était chanceux. Um, actually, I'm gonna read it. I don't even know if we can read it. They literally wrote oui, 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 à tout. We answered yes to everything. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. So he wrote. Bon accueil, which means she welcomed the client well. Assurance means uh, I assured the client. And then I don't know what he wrote. <laughs> I know that he wrote that it was clear that the quality of the questions was really good. Guys, I have no idea. <laughs> Am I gonna write like this later in life? I see empathy plus plus plus. I see confidence. So anyway, my roommate, we actually did it together one after the other. It's literally like the MOM, les mini entrevues en, mé en médecine, but just like one situation rather than a whole bunch of situations a whole day. Feel free to leave your questions down below. Let me know. Other than that, thank you guys. Oh my god, it's not. She's calling and this is on my phone. Is it because she called me? We have an internship later. Basically, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any other questions, let me know down below and I will be so happy to answer them. Um, and other than that, have a nice day. We will see each other soon. Bye! She wanna see me. See she love the green and she love when it rains. She said, bring out the money from the.